That's very sad. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, he died! What? I was aiming at the clown! <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's going on, guys? It's Trip. And today I'm going to be making a little tutorial on how to use InstructBot because I feel as though the UI is kind of difficult to learn. I'm not sure why they made it as hard as it is. Uh, their previous version was a whole lot more simple and now it's just a little more confusing. I had a little bit of trouble setting mine up. Um, I've had friends having trouble setting it up so I figured just make it a little easier. Haven't seen any videos on this version of InstructBot and I figured Someone might need help, so let's let's get into it. And quick note, my Twitch is in the description of this video. Make sure to follow and check me out, guys. I've been streaming every single day for the past month and a half or so. And yeah, trying to build my community over there. Now, for the sake of time and making this video kind of shorter, I'm not going to show how to connect the bot to Twitch. Uh, it's very self-explanatory on that end, uh, where you're just going to connect over here. And it will pretty much walk you through, um, you know, through the couple steps. It's pretty easy. Uh, but what I really want to get into is how to just set up basic commands and just get BitBot running overall. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click input over here and we're going to click add. And for this tutorial we're just going to make it reload. And the description doesn't matter, but what does matter is clicking this right here or sliding it. This is what's going to enable the bot to allow this command to work. This is something I did not know when I first started using this application, and it was a pain in the ass knowing I had to slide this on. I, I wish they had maybe like an on, or, on or off like writing, something like that, just to make it a little more obvious, but it's all good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click Actions, and we're going to do Add. Oh, shit. Move. You're going to want to click right here. My bad, guys. So... For this tutorial, we're doing reload. So the way this works is you have the down key, the press key, and the up key. If you're to do down, it's as though you press down on any sort of key. So in this case, it's going to be R for reload and not let go. And up is going to be your let go. But for reload, it's going to be as simple as press. So we'll have it click R. And what it's going to do is it's literally going to press R and let off R in, or in order to get the reload to go through. Profiles, you're going to want to make sure default selected. Sometimes it's not, um, but you do want to select this just so it's on your default list of commands. And for triggers, you're going to have your bits, donations, channel points, which you set up through Streamlabs, I believe, and subscription. So all of these can trigger it. Um, I'm not sure how free works. I've, I've not tried that yet. I wouldn't recommend free, though, because you're gonna like your viewers are going to ruin your life with free. I'll show a couple clips of how BitBot has messed with my raids, and um, yeah, kind of completely, uh, completely made me lose whatever I was doing. So for reload, we're just gonna do bits for now, and let's just say it costs 50 bits in order to get me to reload. And you're gonna want to go over to users. This is something I don't ever set up because I allow all my users to do it. But what you can do is you can literally pick from every viewer or follower, anybody that's been in your channel to use this. I don't see why you would allow only certain people to use it, uh, but I know you can also do like sub subscribers, followers, moderators, like only for each thing. Personally, I don't care. I'll let anyone do BitBot on me. I think it's hilarious. They think it's hilarious. It's overall a great way to just grow the community and have more interaction. So you're pretty much done over here now with setting up this command so you're going to want to click apply and reload is done so now we can go into overview and I'm going to click up here just to show all my enabled commands now if you were not to do that original slider I told you guys to do this check right here would not be there and it would be just like all of these like I said that's something I could not figure out for quite a bit of time until I really just started clicking everything and understood how it worked you need to make sure that this check is there or when people donate it's not going to go through. So the last part 
that was really confusing is the applications part. And you need to do this in order for BitBot to know which application needs to be enabled when this happens. So in this case, all of my BitBot commands are meant for escape from Tarkov. And the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna pretend that NZXT is a game, um, cause I have this NZXT cam over here for like PC monitoring and, and whatnot. And here's the really awkward part. You would think when you click this right here, there would be like a drop down menu of the applications, but for some reason, and, and they're really not clear on this, you have to press this down so this little circle comes up and you have to drag over to the application like this and let go. And that's the way it selects the application. I'm not sure why, but it's, it's, it's very odd. So you wanna click apply and that's it. So now if you were to be, I don't know, let's just say on your desktop and someone donates through BitBot, nothing will happen until you click back on your NZ, NZXT app and it goes through here now. So in, in my case, normally, if I'm tabbed out on Discord or I don't know, Google Chrome, the BitBot command is not gonna go through until I literally click back on Tarkov and I'm in game and then the command will be sent, which is a really nice feature to make it so that BitBot doesn't fail as much as it will because things like um, using other keys will screw it up. So if I'm running in game and someone uh, I don't know, says uh, they donate for my, let's see. They donate 150 bits for me to throw a grenade. If I'm sprinting in game, I'm already holding shift W, clicking G on top of that, it's, what it's gonna do is it's gonna think I'm holding shift W and G at the same time. It's not gonna throw the grenade in game. So this is the one part about BitBot that kind of sucks, but at the same time, it kind of gives you a way to what we call dodge the BitBot. So if I'm in my, maybe my Tarkov inventory or I'm sprinting, like I just said, this donation's not gonna work. Um, and unfortunately there's no way to refund someone for missing a BitBot donation. So really what the viewers have to do is they have to time it, which <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny at some times, but I understand why it's not the best thing. And a good example of this is Ulta 4. Ulta 4 doesn't always work depending on what you're doing in game. And this is not for every game, but for Tarkov specifically, I cannot be doing another action while Alt F4 goes through. So I'll show the clip, but when I, I just got Alt F4 on reserve the other day in the middle of doing another action. And because I felt bad that he donated 1500 bits and the Alt F4 didn't work, I went back to the location he told me that it went through at, which was in the middle of the street because he wanted me to die there. And I Alt F4 my game there for him just because it, the, the, the app's not perfect, guys, and that's the unfortunate truth truth about it. And I'm sure over time it will get better. But for now, you kind of have to just compensate when things like that happen. Mm. I'm gonna check these mm. okay, what is your fucking problem? You what the hell is the matter with you? Right now. Mm. Motherfucker just closed my game. Did he actually? Yes, he did. Oh my god, you're not in the opportunity spot. Dre, it canceled! Dre, you know you can't do it while I'm running? No, Chase, you gotta do it. Is that you outside? Yes, fucking me! I thought you were inside. Dre? So as you guys can see, BitBot did fail there. It, it happens, there's really nothing you can do about it. So the only thing I could do was literally go back in that same spot and you know, give him what he paid for. So I helped the Ford in the middle of the street and he caused me to die over that. The last thing I wanna show you guys about BitBot, which is really cool, is if you go over here to commands and download, and this will only work by the way, if your BitBot is connected and working, you can click download. And this is gonna have a ton of different commands that people have already made for you in case you're having trouble not getting it to work. So close game, I'm sure this is just another Alt F4. Um, yell, it's probably gonna make you click one of your F keys. I'm assuming these are Tarkov commands. Uh, jump, literally gonna make you click spacebar. It's all really simple, but it's just already made. So it's like, why remake it yourself? Uh, basically, it's as simple as, honestly, just we'll do a close game, see how they did it. Uh, you can double click this, or I'm sorry, you gotta take it and then click download. 
close that and it should be in your overview now right here and what's cool about this is you can see how people made commands so that you can learn this better i'm not sure what happened here all right well that was interesting seemed to have crashed my game for some reason or my uh instruct bot which is all right but as you can see it's just literally ulta 4 just as i have in my ulta 4. Uh, i did it a little different than him he did let's see presses and releases ulta 4. He did a little different than me. What I do is I have press menu down, which is your alt key, press F4 down, and then releasing both of them in order to make it uh, work correctly. But I'm sure this works just as well. Um, so I'm just gonna remove that because we do not need it. There. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much BitBot for you. Um, if you guys have any other questions or maybe help on certain commands, I can make another video on that. But for today, I just want to do make sure that this was all probably prop properly set up and yeah there you go guys if you guys enjoyed make sure to like the video subscribe and uh check out my twitch guys i'll be live tonight and almost every other night guys so thanks for watching and i will uh, catch you guys next time peace